Hi, this is Hank Kim, Executive Director and Counsel for the National Conference on Public Employee Retirement Systems. This is the video blog for January 28th. Um, I'm speaking from our legislative conference uh, here in Washington, D.C. We just concluded our first day of all-day briefings, and uh, the agenda lived up to what we thought it would be, which was a spectacular mix of both substantive presentation and great uh, presentations by uh, some of our uh, great politicians. The, the, what I want to say in this video blog is not just to tout about the legislative conference and the great agenda, uh, which I encourage you to, if you haven't been able to participate with us, um, join us uh, virtually, I guess, uh, later when we have the, uh, the presentations and PowerPoints on, available at a website. But really to say that this is really a first step in terms of interacting with elected officials. That um, being briefed, getting educated about our issues is good, but we really need to take the next, second step, which is to engage our elected officials. And whether they are members of Congress here in Washington, D.C., or uh, state elected officials, or even local council uh, members, we really need to have that full uh, conversation with them about public employee pension plans. So I encourage you to take a look at the materials that we put together for the legislative conference and to the extent that they apply to um, the things that uh, you have going on at the state and local level, we encourage you to uh, utilize that and, and most importantly, go visit your elected officials. Before I leave, I want to show you some highlights from the legislative conference today, and I look forward to talking with you in the future. Anyone who reads the paper will tell you that pensions are in trouble. Many will tell you that they're dead, and they're wrong. Now, for a long time, having a 401k was okay. People got to play in the 90s. The stock market went up every year. People got to play kings of Wall Street. <coughs> Their balances went up and up. And then the markets crashed. Now they don't feel so smart. They feel poor and exposed. And they'd like the security of a defined benefit pension. I want to be very clear. Cutting Social Security, cutting Medicare, and cutting Medicaid does not solve this pending crisis. When I started it's, like, it's, it's just incredible to me to see how people out there are attacking public pensions as though they're a bad idea. As a bad, pensions aren't the cause. Of, look, we've looked at this. Pensions are not the cause of states' fiscal problems. And retired public employees aren't living high on the hog on the taxpayers' dime. Those are the myths being spread by people who either want to dismantle the pension system or they just want to degrade public service. Now, I've been looking at this, and what I think we need to do is to change. We need to, we need to again, instead of degrading and attacking the public employee's retirement system, their defined benefit programs, let's come up with something so that other people can have the same kind of retirement benefits. Let's spread this around a little bit more and recapture what our parents and grandparents had, which was a defined benefit program when they were working during their lives. 